Hey guys, what's up? Lauren Nicole here. Welcome back to my channel. I am going away this weekend on a camping trip where I am simply packing one backpack worth of things. Although I do have to say in the past, even though my husband and I have tent camped this weekend, we're actually staying in our 27 foot trailer. So it's not like I'll be living out of a tent in the middle of the woods, but when it comes to bringing my personal belongings, my clothes, everything that I'll need, I definitely don't need more than just this single backpack for the four days that we will be away. So let's pack together. Let me show you what I'm gonna bring. Now this is the backpack that I will be using. I always keep a couple of things in here that I never really take out, like my deodorant, that always stays in here. Then I have some hand sanitizer, tweezers, nail clippers, and my motion sickness bands, just in case I need them, although I haven't needed them a lot lately, but they are small, they don't take up much room, and I'm really thankful that I have them whenever I need them, so they usually stay in here. Now the very first thing that I always pack is underwear, <laughs> and I always pack double the underwear than the amount of days that I'll be gone because a lot of the time, at least in the summer months, not so much in the fall, but when we're doing water activities and we need to change clothes at least once if not twice a day, I definitely like to make sure that I have enough dry clean underwear for those activities. So Underwear doesn't take up a lot of room in my bag. It's the one thing that I am not skimping out on in a minimalist way. I always bring double the amount of underwear as days I'm going away. Now I do see bras a little bit differently because I am only going to be gone for four days and I'm wearing one currently that will be good for a couple days. Um, I'm only gonna bring one extra bra just in case. Now with socks, it really depends on what we're doing. So we are going hiking this weekend, one of the days, and then we are going white water rafting another day. So I definitely need a good pair of socks for hiking, um, but the white water rafting day, I'm just gonna be wearing water shoes. They're like water hiking shoes all day and you don't wear socks with those. And we are going to be on a campground and it's going to get cold at night like 55 degrees or so and we're gonna have a fire every night outside but of course when we go to bed even though we do have space heaters my feet always get freezing so I always make sure that I bring at least two pairs of fuzzy warm socks for the nighttime so I'm gonna bring four pairs of socks for the weekend and that's it. Now for the raft, I will need a bathing suit. So I have that here. I will also need a pair of shorts and a t-shirt, preferably a white t-shirt to go over my shoulders, make sure that it's not absorbing the sun <laughs> as much as possible. I wanna try to block out the sun, even though I will have sunscreen. Now for after rafting, you wanna make sure you always have a nice warm pair of clothes because it does get chilly at night when we get back from being on the raft all day. You don't wanna be sitting there in wet clothes. So I've got my favorite hoodie here that I am bringing along with a tank top to go underneath of it and just a pair of long pants <laughs> to keep me warm. And I'll probably bring this scarf also. So the tank top and pants that I'm wearing after rafting, I won't be putting them on till like seven o'clock at night. So I'm definitely going to sleep in those that night. And then I need clothes for hiking the next day. So for the hike, I'm just gonna bring my pair of black leggings that I usually wear and then just a tank top to wear with it because it's supposed to be 75 degrees. It's supposed to be really nice. I already have my socks in the bottom of here for this day. And as far as my hiking shoes, I am planning to get a new pair either today or tomorrow morning before we leave. So if I don't get a new pair, I'll just end up bringing my old hiking shoes. But I always just throw my shoes in the car. I don't put them in the backpack. So yeah, I'm just gonna put my leggings and the tank top in there. So we're a bit more than halfway full, but I've almost got all my stuff in here. So let's see. So I need a pair of pajama pants for that night after hiking, after we get a shower and everything. So I'm gonna bring my moose pants. <laughs> I think they're pretty fitting, right? Going out in the woods. And then I will need a tank top to go with that. So the black tank top works. Now the moose pants I can absolutely wear for two nights 
in a row like the last two nights that were there so I'm not worried about having another pair of pajama pants the first night whatever I'm wearing to the campsite we're leaving in the afternoon from our home to drive to the campsite so whatever I'm wearing there that's what I'm going to sleep in before rafting the next day so as far as pajamas go I'm all set okay so for that last day that we are there I have a little tank top and my puffy pants <laughs> my little boho pants so I will pack that outfit for Monday and then um, my flip-flops are in the car so I might switch these out with flip-flops I'm not sure but uh, for now I will keep those there my old hiking shoes which I'm trying to replace before we go if not whatever I'll bring those and let's see I think that's it for clothes I'm gonna run everything over in my head one more time to make sure that I've got everything but yeah I think we're good so now on to the hygiene stuff so I've got my toothbrush my travel toothpaste which I have to look and see if we have another tube I can stretch this out, I can make it work, but maybe I have another tube in there. So I'll check that. But I always bring a five day supply for each eye of my contact lenses so that we are good there. And I've got my tweezers, got the nail clippers. Um, oh yeah, I need sunscreen and bug spray. All right, well, I found the sunscreen, but I did not find the bug spray. So I don't know if we're out of bug spray. Um, but worst case scenario, we can always pick some up there at the campground or one of our friends that's going with us. He always carries bug spray. So we'll be covered there. On screen, I always pack in this back zippered pocket here. I have to zipper that up <laughs> once I have two hands. Um, but yeah, what else? I need, oh yeah, my glasses here. So I always bring glasses as a backup just in case, you know, if anything happens with my contacts, I have a backup so that I can actually see because without my contacts, I cannot see anything. Now there are some things that I keep in my purse, like I have my medications, my wallet, my sunglasses, my phone charger, I always keep in my purse. Um, I don't know what else like I have all of those essentials in my purse so I'm not gonna put them in my packing bag I just realized I almost forgot shampoo and conditioner which I usually just place at the top here and then I can zip my bag around it and that's usually like the extent of what I can fit in this backpack I also almost forgot a book and I am reading this book right now beyond the pill because my doctors after 11 years of being on combination birth control pills they are taking me off of it because of my increased stroke risk as I approach 30 with lupus and migraine with aura, you know, those vascular blood circulation issues. I have an increased risk for stroke apparently and so they want me to switch to the mini pill. So I'm trying to learn everything that I can about um, regulating my body and its hormones even though the healing work I've done on myself for my autoimmune disease over the last two years it pretty much all applies to healing endometriosis as well because that's an inflammatory condition anyway if you're interested in my journey with that and following along I'm going to be vlogging all of it so follow along if that's something that you want to learn more about one last thing that I almost forgot, I wanted to bring another long sleeve shirt just in case my one hoodie gets all dirty. I always like to have at least two long sleeve shirts with me if it gets cold at night. Um, so I'm gonna have to zip that back up. I'll make it work. I also added my water shoes, my water hiking shoes for the rafting trip. And these shoes I'll be wearing on Friday. So, okay, I do have a little bit more than what fits in this little bag. But this is pretty much it. This is all that I'm going to use for myself for four days. And I think I did a pretty good job with keeping it minimal. Now, like I said, my husband and I are taking our camper. So I will show you what that looks like. Ooh.